I just want to make this to serve as a check-in with you guys but also as a check-in for myself and I think it's important to address just what's going on in this current climate. So this week has been super weird and I was feeling like super low and I didn't really know why on Tuesday I took a four hour nap I haven't taken any naps like during this quarantine because I've been waking up late anyway so I wouldn't need a nap but I've just been so exhausted and just yesterday my friend texted me to like check up on me and like ask how I was doing and I told her that yeah I've been okay like not great and she said the same thing she said that she's been feeling bleh like all week and we just got to talking and we we're like we don't really know why we're feeling this way like is it just a coincidence that the both of us are feeling bleh like this week in particular so we finally came to the conclusion that it's because literally everything that is going on right now is just so negative and just so unfortunate on top of living through a pandemic we're on like the third month of being in quarantine on top of that we also have civil unrest we have innocent people getting murdered and our country is under crazy leadership so with all that going on it kind of just adds up and with us being quarantined also adds on top of that because we're kept to ourselves in these little bubbles in our little protective bubbles we don't know what's going on outside in the world all that we know that is going on is what we're being fed by means of social media and the news and tv and on our phones and on our laptops everything that we see all the news that's being covered are only bad news the only kind of news that we see every day 24 7 are news regarding the pandemic it's like okay is anything else going on in the world right now besides the pandemic because when you go on CNN it's literally like 24 hours a day news coverage of the pandemic but lo and behold yes there are other things that are going on besides the pandemic and that unfortunately happens to be yet another murder of an innocent black man and it's just a lot for everyone to deal with right now and everyone's like in the same boat and everyone feels the same things as each other because all of these things that are happening even though we're so far removed from it because of the convenience of social media and because of the connectivity that social media really enforces all this type of news is inescapable and it does come at a cost don't get me wrong i love the fact that social media is so powerful that it can bring injustices to light and that social media can bring to light the things that would without social media otherwise get overlooked so that is a good change that is a good thing um, in this day and age but also on the other hand when you look at today's day and age it doesn't seem so different from how things were 70 years ago none of this stuff has ever like gone away before it's always been there but now it's being brought to light and more people are being exposed to these kinds of uncomfortable things uncomfortable news uncomfortable happenings because they need to be like i need to be we all need to be in order to actually do something about it that being said it does come at a cost though because it's just so much like negative stimuli um all at once which is why like my friend and I and also me speaking with my dad this morning this is why we all feel just so much hate in the world and it's so obvious in the news it's so obvious in our country it's just it's inescapable and it's our reality and I think why this is such a hard time is because we're being forced to face reality and the reality is that everything just everything is a mess <laughs> Um, and that it, there doesn't really seem to be a light at the end of the tunnel at least not from like our standpoint right now seeing as things are so uncertain obviously we will get past this like progress will get made it's just like a really weird time that we're all in and I hope that anyone else who's struggling out there knows that they're not alone that this is like what you're feeling is totally normal because this is a really challenging time and the way that you're reacting is totally valid the way that you feel is totally valid just know that things will get better from 
here. I mean, eventually, maybe it'll get worse before it gets better, but it will get better inevitably. It's just a matter of doing little things for yourself to make sure that you keep sane. So you can refer back to like my other video of like how to stay happy or how to not be sad. Like for example, some steps that I took. Today, after a long week of just not like having the best week, I worked out. It was so good to just blast music and have a really good sweat. I realized I haven't been listening to music this week, which is like really rare because I do, I listen to music all the time. And then the second thing I did this week, I deleted Instagram from my phone because I've just had enough with it. Instagram for me, and I'm sure for like a lot of people, it's just an app that people open subconsciously because you're so used to opening it. I don't even care what's on Instagram. I guess Instagram gets rid of FOMO, but also like I don't, I don't care. Like at the end of the day, I just don't care. And then also it's just like so much noise and that was just so much excess noise that I didn't need. So I just took that out. And like I've been showering every day, but I haven't washed my hair like all week until today. And when I don't wash my hair, my hair just becomes a matted mess. So like I look like trash. So I feel like trash. After working out this morning, I went and showered and finally washed my hair for the first time in a few days. And it just feels so nice. I feel nice and refreshed and that's made a major change. And then just like, I'm, I'm grateful for my friends for reaching out because like I hadn't been on Instagram or like sending memes Which is what I normally do or like sending TikToks So they probably noticed that I've been like a little more quiet So it's just good to talk to friends and just uh, really empathize with what each other are feeling um, Just knowing that like you're not so alone and feeling your feelings Having a good conversation with my dad about the current situation and just addressing the big elephant in the room and just not feeling like what you're feeling is unique to yourself and, and in feeling like so alone in that aspect. That's been really helpful. Adding things to my to-do list every day and checking those things off and just feeling a lot more productive and doing that has all helped me kind of get back on track. Yeah, and I definitely feel a lot better today than I have all week, so that's good. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys that in case you're feeling the same way or some type of way this week that you're not alone and that it's okay to feel the way that you're feeling. Like they say, it's okay to not be okay. This is not a rainbows and sunshine and butterflies type era that we're living in right now. It is very strange. It is very sad. But uh, in the very least, we're all, if you're watching this, <laughs> and I'm here talking to you guys, we're all alive. We're all healthy. We all have our meaningful connections, our relationships. It's just a matter of reaching out to them. And yeah, and it's important to be informed about what's going on. So do know that and like stay informed and stay educated but you don't need to have the same like images bombarding you incessantly you can educate yourself you can inform yourself know that and have a healthy balance with it you don't have to ingest so much of it that it becomes suffocating Some tactics that I use and that I've suggested to my friend who is also going through a hard time include reading a book. I am currently reading Maybe You Should Talk to Someone by Lori Gottlieb um, and I really like it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm not like too avid of a book reader but I really like it and it really just takes me like whenever I have free time if I'm not doing something productive rather than using that free time and going on Instagram and scrolling mindlessly. It's been helpful to use that time to read instead or like enjoy a movie I feel like movies especially in like my generation the Gen Z generation movies are often overlooked because it's an actual commitment but yeah just like watch some movies it'll like transport you to a time that's not this one so it'll, it'll just be like a nice little break from reality I also told my friend to subscribe to the CNN newsletter called the good stuff which I'll link down in the description box below where they send daily emails of all the good that's going on in the world because with the news especially they run off of advertisements and they can only get people's eyes on their pages with things that are really attracting so this is a nice break from the if it bleeds it leads type news it's just nice to be reminded that there's still good going on in the world and yeah so i exercised today it was just nice to blast music and exercise to get those endorphins going I played with my cat. I always have little breaks in the day where I just go 
sit by her and play with her. She's amazing. Also, if you're gonna mindlessly scroll on social media, I would suggest doing that on TikTok because TikTok actually is a form of entertainment and is funny and can like lift your spirits by giving you a good laugh. Just like little, little things that everyone can do. Okay, well, I hope this helps because we're in such a rut right now. Hopefully things can only go up from here and things start to get better next week. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, bye! Okay, I'm back. So I recorded that yesterday, which was Friday. Today's Saturday. And over the course of a day, the cop, Derek Chauvin, has been charged, rightfully so, with murder. They're still deciding what to do with the two other cops who were at the scene. Also, within the course of a day, in addition to the protests that were happening in Minneapolis, protests have also been going on across the country, including in my city, in my neighborhood, specifically. I don't know if the audio is picking up on it, but there are helicopters circling around. It's 9 30 p.m. right now. They're probably out there monitoring for more protests. So things are moving at a rapid pace. With the trend of all of these like innocent black lives being lost to police brutality, to just these careless murders. All of those incidents have obviously affected everyone in different ways. But I feel like this case with George Floyd and his murder has affected everyone in such a reverberating, visceral way that it's just different this time. And hear me out. I believe that everything happens for a reason with this pandemic. It had to be something so drastic that really forced people to be confined in their homes, to be quarantined for at least three months, just really being alone with only themselves and their thoughts and social media and TV and news outlets. And I'm by no means trying to belittle the death toll that this pandemic has accrued. My heart absolutely goes out to all the families that have been affected. And I feel like it's just kind of the perfect accumulation of events with everyone being quarantined and being at home and literally being forced to be in front of their TVs and watching and really taking all of this in and really understanding it on a visceral level, feeling it deep to their core. I feel like we're on the verge of something really powerful collectively, the good people, the allies, the black people, everyone like involved in the struggle, everyone that can understand the struggle, are really banding together for the first time in a very obvious and constructive way that I feel like we are on the verge of something very powerful. And I think that's something that's really interesting to consider in that we're already living through history. There have been so many <laughs> events that have been happening back to back, but I feel like the next thing to happen is going to really, hopefully, is really going to change things around. Okay, so yeah, I'm not really sure how to end this, but yeah, I just wanted to add that bit in because I've had a little bit more time to think about it and have had a few more in-depth conversations and that's how I feel. I think this has really forced people to open their eyes, to really understand, to feel, and to take a stance and finally say enough is enough. And that's when humans become humanity.